day again this is Damien from Fixwin PC and in today's video I am taking a look at the Boa Vision mini PTZ camera and how it can be used now these cameras can be found on Amazon for very very cheap and also you can find it on AliExpress and a customer has found these cameras and they wanted us to see if it would work and how it would work so the first test to see if it would be compatible with a DVR the next one would be an NVR um, because standalone on the app it's quite simple um, the app is like five minutes and you'll get it installed I won't go through the app process but I just want to show you how easy it is to add it to the DVR and then the NVR which is a little bit trickier all right so first we're going to go to the dvr all right and you can already see it's here but let me show you how it got there so you go to configuration or well, you log into your dvr of course go into configuration you go down to camera management and you see i have it here so allow me to delete it now all right i have deleted it so it's gone let's go back to live view see if it shows up it's no longer there when we run the cameras it used to be in the corner here it's, it's gone so let's go back to configuration and add it back now first thing you're going to have to do is use the app to get the ip address which is what i did and i got the ip address as 192.168.0.134 and just like adding any ip camera to a dvr you're going to need that information so we just come back to camera management click add now, first thing you're going to change is protocol. The protocol is OnViv because the camera is OnViv capable. So you're going to put in the IP address 192.168.0.134. And the management port is also 8080, which you can get from when you log into the web interface. You go into settings in the web interface, you will get that admin port. You go on the network, go OnViv, and there you'll see the OnViv port to use. That's 8080. Mind you, you will have to allow uh, time zone settings and image settings so there's a few things you have to turn on on this side also to get it to show up directly on the uh, DVR and the NVR you will have to change the media settings uh, on the video you're gonna have to change the video coding it comes by default on H.265 main profile. You're going to have to change that to H.264 main profile. On the H.265, you're going to get an error that says no resource. And that is no good for no one. So let's go back here. And now let's go back to the configuration. We have the port now. The username is admin. And the password will be whatever password you change to when you were setting it up in the app. Keep that information. So I'll put in the password that I used. Right, transfer protocol you can leave at auto select ok now it would say connecting what i like to do to speed up this process simply just go to user management come back to camera management by that time it's online so now that it says online you can go to live view and you will see it appearing in the corner here once more once you click first you're going to see ip camera is here now and now click here and there you go just give it a minute boom it appears and you can do some of the controls you can move it around up down you know only thing is that this camera even though it says ptz it is not a zoom camera what you will get is a digital zoom so be mindful of that all right so that was the dvr right now i don't have to disconnect it from the dvr i can jump straight over to my nvr now now you see it's here as well now with the NVR, for some reason, this particular NVR does not delete cameras. Very annoying, maybe something in the firmware. I don't know, but I will show you the steps. Very similar to the DVR steps. And they come into camera management. Now I already had a bunch of cameras that were here before. What I'm going to do now is simply just take one of the cameras and modify them. All right, so when I modify the camera, Whatever IP address was here, I would change that to the information you see here now, which would be the IP address that we got. Change the protocol to OnViv, because this is a LTS DVR, NVR, sorry. I changed it to OnViv, there's a bunch of protocols, but OnViv is the one for the camera. Get the management port right. Leave the child number as default, username as admin, and the password would be the password for the camera. 
leave the transfer protocol as auto and the adding method as manual. If you choose plug and play, that's for cameras directly plugged in. And if you plug this camera directly into an NVR like the LTS or the Hikvision NVR, you're going to have to uh, go into the camera itself and give it a static IP in the network area where you see network. You're going to have to give it a static IP or fixed IP address and then that fixed IP address has to match the uh, network IP of the, the built-in switch on the NVR. So be mindful of that as well. So we're going to leave it at manual and hit OK. Right, and you will get the same thing like last time connecting and whatnot. You just jump back, jump in. You get the strong and you get the online. And uh, you can even jump in directly to the camera from here. I click on that, I should be able to pull up the camera directly. And it's going to ask for the username and password. Now, this is the username and password of the camera. You hit OK. Boom, it gets you in there. You can pick, set up software. If you're on a computer, you're going to pick PC view. And there you go. Got the monitor. It's going to give you a full stream. Uh, so this one requires ActiveX to be downloaded. Uh, it didn't require that for me on the Chrome browser, but this is using a Internet Explorer environment. So it will require ActiveX downloading, but you get the idea. And now that your camera has successfully been added to your NVR, you can view it from here. But I just want you to observe that it's running simultaneously on the NVR, on the DVR, and it's running standalone on its own web interface. So that's three places you can view it. On top of that, you can also view it on your phone. You can view this from everywhere. Would I recommend this camera? I would have to say no. Not because it doesn't work, but because it may not meet your expectations. It just depends on what your expectations are. If your expectations are something quite simplistic to place at a front door for you to just see things here and there and you have Wi-Fi and you want to use the Wi-Fi function, then fine. Remember, you still have to run your cable to get power. Or you have to have a close by power source it's good for that it's good for the simple stuff if you want to add this to a full-fledged system to use like how you'd use a regular ptz i would say no you will not get the functions you're looking for even though it says how the function it's not going to work as expected the, the, the auto tracking is not its, at its best the light comes on uh you know when it feels like the intelligent settings are somewhat intelligent and Generally, the what you expect from a professional PTZ, uh, you're not going to get from this, hence the price point. So that is just my opinion about the Boa Vision IP camera, IP mini PTZ, sorry. Don't forget to leave any questions in the comments or any requests. These are always helpful in helping me to make new videos and put new content out there. And I hope that was helpful. And have a good day.